For centuries, scientists have been puzzled by a fundamental question. What is light made of? Is it a wave, rippling through space like a disturbance in a pond? Or is it a stream of tiny particles like bullets fired from a gun? The answer, as we've come to discover, is both intriguing and mind-boggling. Light can behave as both a wave and a particle, a concept known as wave-particle duality. This duality doesn't just apply to light though, it extends to the very building blocks of matter, the particles that make up everything around us. Electrons, protons, neutrons, all of them exhibit this strange dual nature, challenging our classical understanding of the universe. The journey to unraveling this mystery is a testament to human curiosity and ingenuity. It's a story of scientific giants like Newton, Huygens, and Einstein, whose groundbreaking experiments and theories have illuminated the hidden workings of the cosmos. By delving into this fascinating realm of wave-particle duality, we'll gain a deeper appreciation for the quantum world, a realm where the familiar rules of physics give way to a reality that is stranger and more wondrous than we could have ever imagined. The debate over the nature of light dates back centuries. In the 17th century, Isaac Newton, a giant of science, championed the idea of light as a stream of particles, which he called corpuscles. His theory neatly explained how light travels in straight lines and reflects off surfaces. However, at the same time, Dutch scientist Christian Huygens proposed a rival theory that light is a wave, propagating through an invisible medium called the luminiferous ether. Huygens' theory could elegantly account for the way light bends around obstacles, a phenomenon known as diffraction. The debate raged on for over a century, each theory with its own strengths and weaknesses. It was not until the early 19th century that a groundbreaking experiment tipped the scales in favor of the wave theory. In 1801, English scientist Thomas Young conducted his now-famous double-slit experiment. He shone a beam of light through two narrow slits and onto a screen. To his astonishment, instead of seeing two bright bands of light corresponding to the slits he observed a pattern of alternating bright and dark fringes an interference pattern. This pattern was the unmistakable signature of waves interfering with each other. Just when it seemed like the wave theory of light had triumphed, a young Albert Einstein would shake the foundations of physics once again. In 1905, Einstein published his groundbreaking paper on the photoelectric effect, a phenomenon that could not be explained by the classical wave theory of light. The photoelectric effect, describes the emission of electrons from a metal surface when light shines on it. What puzzled scientists was that the energy of the emitted electrons depended not on the intensity of the light, as predicted by wave theory, but on the frequency of the light. Einstein's solution was nothing short of revolutionary. He proposed that light is not just a wave but also a stream of discrete packets of energy, which he called quanta of light, later known as photons. These photons, he argued, behave like tiny particles, each carrying a specific amount of energy proportional to their frequency. When a photon strikes the metal surface it transfers its energy to an electron, giving it enough energy to break free from the metal. The higher the frequency of the light, the more energetic the photons, and the more energetic the emitted electrons. Einstein's explanation of the photoelectric effect not only earned him the Nobel Prize in physics in 1921, but also resurrected the particle theory of light setting the stage for the development of quantum mechanics. Section 4. Embracing Duality, Light as Both Wave and Particle The photoelectric effect forced physicists to confront a perplexing reality. Light seemed to exhibit both wave-like and particle-like behavior. It wasn't that one theory was right and the other was wrong, rather, light seemed to defy easy categorization, behaving as either a wave or a particle depending on how it was observed. This wave-particle duality, as it came to be known, is one of the most counterintuitive yet fundamental concepts in quantum mechanics. It suggests that our classical intuition about the nature of reality, where things are either waves or particles, breaks down at the atomic and subatomic levels. Imagine, for instance, a beam of light passing through a narrow slit. If we observe the light on a screen behind the slit, we'll see an interference pattern, as if the light were a wave spreading out from the slit. But if we were to send the light through a detector that measures the energy of individual photons, we'd find that the light arrives in discrete packets like particles. It's as if light has two faces, one wave-like and one particle-like, and it reveals the face we're looking for depending on the experiment we perform. 
Section 5, The Double Slit Experiment, A Quantum Enigma. Young's double slit experiment, which initially seemed to settle the debate in favor of the wave theory of light, takes on a whole new level of strangeness in light of wave-particle duality. If we refine the experiment by sending photons through the slits one at a time, we might expect to see two distinct bands on the screen, corresponding to the two slits. Astonishingly, however, even when we send photons one by one, the interference pattern gradually emerges. This implies that each photon somehow interferes with itself, as if it were passing through both slits simultaneously. But how can a single particle be in two places at once? This is where the classical world collides with the quantum world. In the quantum realm, particles don't exist in definite states until they are measured. Before measurement, they exist in a superposition of states, a kind of blurry haze of possibilities. In the double slit experiment, the photon is in a superposition of passing through both slits simultaneously. It's only when it interacts with the screen that its position is measured, causing the superposition to collapse and the photon to appear at a specific point on the screen. The double slit experiment highlights the inherent probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics. We can't predict with certainty where a single photon will land on the screen, but we can predict the probability of it landing at a particular point, which is reflected in the interference pattern. Section 6. Wave-particle duality in action from lasers to electronics. Wave-particle duality is not just an esoteric concept confined to the realm of theoretical physics. It has profound implications for our understanding of the universe and has led to the development of technologies that have revolutionized our world. Lasers, for instance, rely on the wave-like nature of light to produce their intense, coherent beams. By stimulating atoms to emit photons in phase with each other, lasers amplify light waves, creating a beam that can travel vast distances with minimal spreading. On the other hand, electronics, which underpin our modern digital world, rely on the particle-like nature of electrons. In electronic devices, electrons are treated as tiny charged particles that flow through circuits, carrying information and energy. From medical imaging to telecommunications, from computers to smartphones, wave-particle duality has enabled technological advances that have transformed the way we live, work, and interact with the world. Section 7. Beyond the Horizon Unraveling the Quantum World Wave-particle duality is a testament to the strangeness and wonder of the quantum world, a realm where the familiar rules of classical physics break down. It challenges our intuition and forces us to rethink our understanding of the nature of reality. While we've made remarkable progress in deciphering the quantum world, many mysteries remain. The interpretation of quantum mechanics, the nature of superposition, and the role of the observer in quantum measurements are just a few of the questions that continue to intrigue and puzzle physicists. As we delve deeper into the quantum realm, we can expect to uncover even more surprises and paradoxes, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and potentially leading to new technological revolutions that we can only begin to imagine. The journey to unravel the mysteries of the quantum world is a testament to the power of human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of understanding the universe we inhabit. It's a journey that promises to be as challenging as it is rewarding, leading us to a deeper appreciation for the beauty, complexity, and sheer strangeness of the cosmos.